When I was a 12-year-old, I took a course, and my teacher actually told me about the Hiroshima bombing. And I was completely devastated by the, the impact that the humans can do to each other. And uh, so in my work, I've always dealt with the human body. And uh, to think about the, uh, the violence, uh, the conflicts, and the resolutions. That's where it actually began. I began with a small sheet of paper, and there are always eight and a half by 11 sheets of office paper. And I was just randomly put some marks down with ink in the brush. And while the ink is still wet, I would take another sheet of paper and I would just kind of erase it or smudge it. And I would just keep doing this back and forth between the two sheets of paper. So while I'm generating an image on the right side, which is the one I'm drawing, I'm also creating this kind of mess, this chaos on the left side. And this accumulated mess then becomes the next drawing. And then I start to lay them together as a grid to see if they flow. Then I start to connect lines. And every time I draw or every time I put a mark down, I'm still doing these mono printing processes. For me, the, the sense of the trace is really important. Uh, it is this trace that allows a future image to generate. So in my studio, I have piles and piles of these messy, random, chaotic, leftover residuals that will become the, the next drawing or drawings. That's the world. Everything's kind of related to each other. And as I'm growing older, I, I realize that, how little things has a repercussion on other things. When I'm drawing, it takes years sometimes, because I would take drawings that I had done maybe 10 years ago, and I feel this particular character from 10 years ago want to participate in this field, so I include that figure into the work. There are different narratives that are taking place in, within the field of that drawing. There, there are many, many layers of drawings. There are figures that are kind of confronting each other, so there are some kind of power relationships happening or some kind of... Uh, I would say sense of curiosity and, and just kind of meeting.